So this video spans across three categories. For one, it's a last minute shopping guide and prices in here range from $20 all the way up to a thousand bucks. Number two, it's a top deals video. All these products are solid and they all happen to be on sale, at least most of them. And the third thing is a lot of these things are stuff I use on a daily basis. So you can consider this a mini EDC. Now the first item of choice is $7.99. It's the LG C2 OLED. I literally picked this up two days ago based on all the rave reviews I've seen across the internet. This is one of the best bang for your buck OLED TVs you can buy today. For $7.99, you get a 42 inch beautiful OLED display that works well as a PC monitor, but also as a display for content and playing games. The 120 Hertz HDMI capable port on the back supports Xbox, PS5, or even your PC. Compared to the C1, it also offers more brightness. So if you watch a lot of HDR content, you're gonna appreciate this display a little bit more. But if you're looking for a TV right now, this is the one to get. Now, for up to $300 off, you can pick up a Surface Pro 9 or Surface Laptop 5. In fact, Microsoft did send these laptops out to partner on this part of the video. And you get a 120 Hertz display with the Pro 9. It's three by two, so you get that taller aspect ratio, which is way better for productivity. It has a Surface Slim Pen 2 that you can buy as an accessory. And if you've ever written with it, you'll appreciate how natural it feels when it comes to jotting down notes. Like this is the best pen for writing notes in my opinion. Like I just love using this thing. And there's like a little haptic vibration you get when the pen touches the surface of the screen that makes it feel more like you're using an actual pencil. Now you do have to buy the keyboard as an optional accessory, but with the $300 off, it should circumvent that. And if you need a two-in-one experience, this is one of the better ones that are currently on the market. Now, if you don't need this style of laptop, then, and you want something a bit more traditional, then go with the Surface Laptop 5. You're not gonna get the 120 Hertz display, but you're gonna get a more traditional style laptop. They did a really good job of how this touchpad feels. It's a lot more spacious than what you'd get on the Surface Pro 9. It too has a three by two aspect ratio and very good strong single core performance. Both of those laptops have really good battery life. And this year, you finally get Thunderbolt with the Surface Laptop 5. So if you wanna bring it home and connect it to an external GPU, you absolutely can. Now the best phone of the year, in my opinion, is the regular Pixel 7. This came out for $599, but right now it's $100 off for $499. You're getting a true flagship experience for under $500. That's insane, okay? And I've been using this on and off since it came out and I'll be straight up with you. This feels like the perfect size in your hand. 6.4 inches, it doesn't feel as big as 6.7 like the Pixel 7 Pro or even the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The screen is still big enough that you don't feel like you're looking at a small display. Sure, you lose out on the telephoto camera and you only get 90 Hertz instead of 120 and slightly less RAM, but in terms of actual performance and consistency, it doesn't feel any different than the more expensive Pixel 7 Pro. Plus the edges are completely flat, so it gives it a slight boost in terms of typing experience compared to more traditional edged displays. All right, let's drop it down to 30 bucks. There's a lot of overpriced rip off water bottles on the market that are supposed to filter your water. This one from Brita is $30 and it does the job. Stainless steel, so it keeps your water cool up to 24 hours, holds 20 ounces. You open it up by pushing this little button. You have a little straw on top that you can suck on. There's a little carrying handle, which I truly appreciate because sometimes your bag is completely full. The pocket where your water bottle goes in is now being used. At least you can clip this onto your bag and still be able to carry it with you. Now the filter is right here. Like you open it up and then you unlock this and then this comes off and you're supposed to change this every two months or up to 40 gallons. So I guess whatever comes first or it really depends on how often you use it. If you travel and you go to school, just buy one of these because a lot of these places are being filtered with chlorine and this helps reduce that taste and odor. Now this is what I call the Swiss Army of Cables. It's basically a little storage device that has a multitude of cables. Every single cable you can think of for your phone or laptop is inside of here. You have a 22 inch USB type C cable and then you have a bunch of adapters. You have a micro USB adapter, you have a lightning adapter, you have a USB A adapter, you have a slot for your nano SIM card if you carry extra nano SIM cards with you. You have a OTG connector, you have a TF card storage slot. Like it pretty much has all the cables you need in a pinch. You leave this in your bag and if you ever forget a cable one day, this little Swiss army knife of cables will be there to save you. On top of that, 
it also acts as a phone holder. You just pop this up like this, and then you take your phone, you rest it over here, and boom, you have a nice little phone stand. So if you're looking for a new mouse pad, this is the Logitech Desk Mat. I like this because of its size. It's not too big and it's not too small. I feel like it will fit most desk setups. It's big enough that it can fit a keyboard and a mouse on it quite comfortably. The material's also good, great for your mouse. Even if you're a gamer, like I feel like this is a good in between someone who's using it for productivity, but also gaming. I like this edge, it gives it its own unique look. And the best part about it is it's spill resistant. So even if you spill something on this, it's not gonna damage it. You can just quickly throw it in the wash. Now, I don't know if you call this tech, but this is something I use every single day here in the office. As you can tell, it's quite dirty. It's a soda stream. I like fizzy water. I especially like flavored fizzy water. So I drink a lot of bubbly. And this is just so much better to have than going out and buying physical cans all the time. When you gotta go buy physical cans and you're drinking them on a daily basis, you end up going to the recycling bin more than you have to. On top of that, it just adds more e-waste to the environment. Plus over the long run, using a soda stream is actually cheaper because you can swap out the canisters at your local grocery store and they will give you a discounted price if you return them. Now, if you're looking for earbuds, I highly suggest the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, not the second version, but the first version. Right now you can pick these guys up for $99. That is a great deal for these earbuds. Not only do they sound fantastic, they're also water resistant, they have good microphone performance, and they also have a voice detect feature, which means if someone starts talking to you, it'll automatically dim the sound so that you can have an actual conversation. It supports active noise cancellation. It has everything you'd want in a high quality pair of earbuds. If you own an Android phone or even a Windows computer, for 99 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So if you're looking at external storage, end of year is always the best time to buy since that's when all the best deals are happening. The Samsung T7 Shield and regular T7 are about up to $90 off. But the T7 happens to be cheaper because you're not paying extra for the ruggedness. So if you don't think you're gonna be like wrestling any bears or jumping off a plane with your hard drive on you, then I would just grab the regular T7. This is the two terabyte model. They do support up to 1000 megabytes a second for read and write. I've personally used these devices for video editing and I've never had any of these things fail on me. Now this is part of my everyday carry. This stays in my bag at all times. This is a USB-C GAN charger. It charges up to 140 watts. I no longer carry my laptop charger. I no longer carry my phone charger. I just carry this. And on the back, you get three ports. You have one USB-A and two Type-C ports. So this is capable of charging my laptop and my phone plus another device at the exact same time. And look how small this is, right? Like this is smaller than Apple's MacBook Pro 16 charger. And that charges at a lower wattage than this guy. So if you wanna get rid of all your cables and travel a little bit lighter, I highly suggest one of these things. You might also wanna pick up a Type-C cable. I'll place the link to this one in the description down below. But this is a very long one that supports up to 100 watts of power delivery. So if you use your iPad or a tablet to read, stop. You're just doing a lot of damage to your eyes. It causes a lot of strain. On top of that, you're emitting a lot of blue light, especially if you read before going to bed. Just pick up an e-reader. Your eyeballs will thank you later. I've been really enjoying the Kindles, especially since they got EPUB support. They sync between all my devices, so I always pick up where I left off. But uh, if I was you, go for the cheaper one. This is the $120 Kindle and it works beautifully. Fantastic battery life, it's pretty snappy and it holds a lot of books. The Kindle Scribe is expensive, very expensive. And this is for a super niche market. Like if you've been waiting for a Kindle that allows you to write notes, this does it very well. Like you can mark up on the books you're reading, you can draw notes beside it so that you can refer to it later, but just know that you are gonna be paying a big price tag. Plus for reading all the time, I'd rather something a bit smaller. It feels more comfortable to carry. This is just significantly bigger. So it really depends on the type of person you are. And finally for $19.99, I really suggest a Google Chromecast. Not only does it make a good gift for somebody else, but it also takes a dumb TV and turn it into a smart one. It gives you access to all of your streaming services. But the cool thing is a travel hack. Keep this in your backpack when you travel or go to a hotel because if the hotel TV doesn't have anything you wanna watch, you can connect this to the back of one of their HDMI ports and have access to all your streaming services that you pay for. Anyways, that wraps up this last minute shopping guide slash EDC, some top deals. If you wanna purchase any of them, there'll be links in the description down below. Happy holidays, happy new year. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.